Now, you see what we're this is this is simulating a fuel line return in a fuel tank. And, and and normally the pumps down here, up here is just the surface of the fuel. So we got 850 mils of air. So the air coming out of here is steady and it's producing 850 mils. So the 50 mil is the, uh, is the, the air, isn't it? 50 mils of foam, yeah, right. 50 mils There's of 50 foam. mils of foam. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put in one mil of oxytane. And you see it, the oxytane broke the surface tension and dropped down. Now it's going to rise and increase. That means that the fuel is releasing more air out of the bottom faster. That's quite quick, isn't it? The reaction is yes. fast. That's why you feel it in the car that quick. Because you're concentrate, your air is coming out in the fuel tank much faster and you're getting a much denser energy of fuel but look at how much that increases that's impressive that's really impressive i wow. didn't i i know well, when you're you're talking there's that much air in the diesel diesel fuel absorbs air the way a dry sponge absorbs water and so when the diesel fuel people that you can't see inside the fuel tank look at that you got you got a th what is that? Two hundred mils more of foam. That's how much air is coming out of there. So what you're saying is that if it's in the car, then the fuel the car is taking out cleaner. Yeah, the, fuel, the, less the, air. The, the air fuel. Yeah, the air is escape. This is what goes on in the fuel tank, mm. and, and the air comes out faster, and that's why you feel. That bump is because the air or the fuel energy density of the fuel is improved because it has less air. That's mm. that simple. That's it. That's nice and simple. Okay. Thank you for that. By the way, that's Mike Colburn, the one I call the mad scientist. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>